One of the key appeals in owning an electric scooter is the massive reduction in running costs in comparison to a car. But how much less do they really cost? To answer this, we calculated the running cost per 100 kilometers of a top selling electric scooter versus a top selling car. To keep things fair, we decided to use one of the most high performance electric scooters currently available on the market, the Wolf Warrior 11 Plus, and we're gonna be putting that up against Australia's 2020 top selling car, the Toyota Corolla. First thing we need to do is work out the kilowatt hours of the Wolf Warrior's battery. Then we can work out the running cost of electricity per 100 kilometers. So to do this, we want to multiply the battery voltage and amp hour rating to get the watt hours. The Wolf Warrior Plus has a 60 volt, 35 amp hour battery, which has 2100 watt hours. Dividing this by 1000 will give us 2.1 kilowatts per hour. Multiply the kilowatt size of your battery by the cost per kilowatt hour electrical rate. Currently, Queensland has an average rate of 20.62 cents per kilowatt, which equals around 43 cents for a full charge. The Carbo Wolf Warrior Plus has a tested real world range of 67.5 kilometers. Divide the cost of a full charge by the kilometer range to get the cost per kilometer, which comes to 0.0063 cents per kilometer. Multiply this per kilometer cost by 100 to get the cost per 100 kilometers, and it will bring you down to around 63 cents. So to wrap it up, the Carbo Wolf Warrior 11 Plus costs 63 cents per 100 kilometers in electricity. Next, we will work out the fuel consumption cost of a 2020 Toyota Corolla per 100 kilometers. According to Toyota's own specifications, a petrol engine 2020 Corolla uses six liters of fuel per 100 kilometers. The current average price of unleaded 91 in Brisbane is $1.30 per litre. Times this by six, and a 2020 Toyota Corolla costs around $7.80 in fuel per 100 kilometres. Besides the cost, another good reason to jump onto an electric scooter is to help the planet. We can calculate the amount of CO2 produced by electricity and compare it to a car on per 100 kilometre basis. While Australia has many cleaner energy options in use such as wind, hydro and solar, which produce around 50 grams of CO2 per kilowatt hour. We will use coal for this comparison, which produces around one kilogram of CO2 per kilowatt hour as a worst case example. Let's check out the calculations. The Wolf Warrior requires 2.1 kilowatt hour for a full charge, which equals 2.1 kilograms of CO2. Divide the CO2 by the tested range to get per kilometer. In doing so, we're gonna come out with 0.031 kilograms of CO2 per kilometer. Multiply this by 100, and we're gonna get 3.11 kilograms of CO2 per 100 kilometers when using coal power, or 115.5 grams of CO2 per 100 kilometer when using wind, hydro, or solar power. For reference, a 2020 Toyota Corolla produces around 8.1 kilograms of CO2 per 100 kilometers. So to recap all of that, the Wolf 11 Plus costs only 63 cents per 100 kilometers, whereas the Toyota Corolla costs $7.80 per 100 kilometers. That makes the Wolf Warrior more than 12 times cheaper to run. So as you can see here, by using an electric scooter instead of a small car, you can instantly cut your emissions in half. And when using clean energy solutions such as solar, you are creating 70% less CO2 than a small car. But where the electric scooter really shines is being able to cut free from that traffic congestion, parking fees, as well as fines. So do the math yourself. It's time to jump on and enjoy the freedom.